Hello, welcome to Try Animes, another weekly roundup of Amiami figure releases. This will be from the 5th of Feb till the 10th of February. Um, if you could please comment, like, and subscribe, that would obviously uh, be wonderful. Um, we will be breaking this up into chapters, so starting with the 5th of Feb, we're going day by day, basically. Um, and like normal, the links for the figures we look at today will be in the description down below. So we'll start with the 5th of Feb. Hatsune Miku, uh, Court Scale by Stronger. This is her uh, Tokyo figure, uh, sh the latest street style uh, version, cute. 48,000 yen. And then we've got uh, Suzu Kanade uh, by Belfine, 21,580 yen, being released in July 2024. And we've got again Hatsune Miku Court Scale, uh, the latest street style uh, version for 46,560 yen. But again, uh, this one's being released in December 2024. The, there's no obvious difference apart from the more slightly more expensive one has, is a Tokyo version. Um, there's nothing in the description about this one and uh, saying about any extras that you'll be getting with it. It just says there's a limited edition version um, compared to the other one. So, but yeah, I don't know if there's nothing in terms of the painting that I can see that's slightly different. The shading looks perfectly the same. The boots and the outfit looks identical across both of these. So, the yeah, these look the same to me. So, um, that's it. Just three figures for the 5th of Feb. Next is the 6th of Feb. Uh, there's been a few more figures released in this one compared to the 5th of Feb. So, starting, we've got an Android, Riddle Joker, Nanami Arahia, uh by uh, Good Smile. Art Shanghai, 5,710 yen, being released in August 2024. Uh, this one comes with three face plates and it looks like just a couple of extra hand gestures, um, but nothing uh, spectacular extra with this one. And we've got uh, uh, Prisma Ilya by uh, Freeing, so B style. This is the, uh, looks like the bare leg version, yep, for 29,400 yen, uh, coming out in August 2024. So just a box stand Freeing. Bunny. Now we've got an Azure Lane, uh, Shinano, uh, by Good Smile Art Shanghai for 34,250 yen. This one, obviously, uh, all the Azure Lane ones uh, seem really good, and there's been quite a few released this week, uh, just as a heads up. Uh, so this one's obviously very good. Shinano is a very well renowned um, your main girl from the Azure Lane series. Uh, I, do, I do have her in the game. I uh, only recently got her. So, yeah, she's coming out in February 2025. So you've got plenty of time to get her. You've got a whole year to at least save up for this one, even though this one is on the price side. But you are getting a lot of figure. You know, the the nine tail fox sort of hairs look re uh, really good. Well done, shaded. So this is really good. Then we've got a uh, character vocal series, Hatsune Miku. Uh, Shimin Maifu version, one seventh for by Good Smile Art Shanghai, 36,070 yen, coming in December 2024. Uh, this one's obviously very much more unique. The oranges add a lot to the blue, I think, with this one. It's very good dichotomy between the colours. So this one's a very good looking one. And the pose looks uh, amazing in this one. So a very good Hatsune Miku one. Definitely one of the better ones that we've seen. Uh, then we've got Hatsune Miku GT Project Racing version, 2023. Good Smile Racing uh, for 27,510 yen. This one's February 2025. So this is sort of the yearly, you know, we always get a racing version of Miku every year. So, um, or oh, this was last year's, obviously, they dated the year before it being released, but yeah. So we've got this coming out. Um, she looks very good, very similar to the other racing ones. So uh, depends, you pretty much have to just pick a year that you like. Uh, so I think there was a previous year, uh, one from quite a few years ago where she sort of slightly tanned and that was look, looked really good overall. Um, but yeah, it's just another racing uh, Miku. Then we've got uh, Fugushi no Mimi, uh, Mutant, uh, Alice Libdell by Apex for 23,200 yen, coming out in Jan 2025. Uh, this one actually seems like a good price because you're getting quite a lot with the base being included in this one, uh, and she's being 1 7th as well. So the price is actually pretty, pretty good for this one. Um, so definitely a better uh, value for the 1 7th. And then we've got a uh, Sei Shunugan 17th by Fat Company for 27,800 yen. Uh, coming out in December 2024. It's another Fate figure. I have known nothing about Fate. The colours look very vibrant. This one, the blues look really good. Um, I do like this sort of, you know, red 
uh, black and uh, blue and white going on. It's very, very bright. So yeah, very good looking figure. And that's it for the 6th of Feb. Now on to the 7th of Feb. Uh, the only three figures to look at in, that, in this one at this day. We've got Nendroid Reverse, 1999 Sonetto. By, by Good Smile Art Shanghai, 5,710 yen. And on August 2024, looks like she comes with three face plates and very few accessories. It looks like some chopsticks and a little airbrush thing. But this one I've not heard of from this franchise. Uh, series Reverse, 1999. Nine. Don't, I'm not very well of it, aware of it, but it's another Nendroid. Uh, then we've got Long Zhualin, uh, Long He Sui version, 1 7th by Animista for 14,890 yen for 1 7th, coming in October 2024. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I think it's a bit more on bit higher quality than the other Animista ones we've, uh, that, you know, that people have been pre ordering and that have sold out pretty quickly. Which are like half the value of this one, but you are getting sort of you know a bit more detailed base. You're getting some extra accessories, and look like the paint job on this one is actually slightly just a bit better actually as well. So this one's closer to an actual you know one seventh scale pricing uh, for Manamitsu, but I think they they hopefully they don't do this all the time as a lot of people like their budget figures. Uh, then this one might be to do with licensing though, since this one I think's for me uh, uh, not an OC character. Uh, then we've got Apprentice Nurse Ai Sukuyimo, 1 7th by Bibby Buttons for 18,000 yen. So it's like a swimsuit nurse esque angel figure. Sort of kind of a unique way to take those three separate categories or um, styles and put them all together. Um, but yeah, for 18,000 yen. Uh, there we go. That's it for the 7th of February. This is the 8th of Feb. We've got quite a few figures for this one. Um, some that obviously, uh, actually, there's a re-release as well. So we'll uh, try and blitz through this one. Uh, League of Legends Spirit Bossom Ari, 1 7th by Mythos for 26,400 yen. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, will quite like this one. I do like the um, League of Legends uh, uh, characters as well. Um, especially Ari is quite uh, you know, a famous one that a lot of people like. Uh, I like the sculpt work going on this one. This one's coming out in October 2024, and uh, uh, this depicts, I think, the original art very well. Then we've got Tedatol, Heaven Burns, Red Yuana, Shirakawa uh, by, Furu, by Furu, 6,000 yen. So uh, it's a Tedatol lineup again from Furu. These, they're very good value, I think, if, for what you're getting. They're really elevating the quality uh, these days as well, the Tedatol line. So if you're really on the tight budget, I'll look at the Tedatol series. And we've got uh, quite a few. They've been ramping up production, it seems like, of the variety of figures that they'll be getting and putting in on their Tedatol line. Then we've got Tedatol Hatsunomiku uh, by Furu for 5,220 yen. So this is the Kimono uh, ver version, it seems like. Again, much very good quality one, you know, for very good price. So uh, good that Fury are doing this. This lineup, Tenetol ReZero. Uh, this one is uh, Bram in a maid costume, 5,320 yen, August 2024. She looks perfectly fine, you know, just enough shading in the hair, um, uh, and the outfit looks good overall. And then there's also Rem uh, as well, 5,320 yen. Again, August 2024, so it's her in a blue maid outfit. And next, we've got Nendroid, Sky Children of the Light. Uh, by Good Smile, 5,460 yen. Uh, this one obviously has no additional faceplate. It it's just comes with a couple of uh, hand accessories, it looks like. So this one, I think, might be a bit expensive. But um, I'm not familiar with this uh, series that this is based off of. Then we've got Nendroid to Lovely Darkness, Nana Astra, Devluk. Oh, you could smile for 5,790 yen. This one's three face plates, it looks like. Um, and in her uh, the Devil League outfit, so it looks pretty good overall. But again, pretty simple. Um, then we've got Nendroid Bochi the Rock Saika Ichi, uh, 4,870 yen. Actually, quite a, a little bit cheaper than the other Nendroids we've looked at. Uh, coming out in August 2024. Uh, this one looks like it comes with three faceplates as well. Seems to be a bit standard these days with these uh, Nendroids being three fa fa yeah, faceplates. Uh, Spice Morph Holo Renewal Package Edition 1 8th by Kudabakiya for 8,300 yen. Uh, July 2024. 
Uh, this one, she looks pretty good, and the price is really good, so a good thing with Kodavik here. They do offer quite a um, affordable lineup. They're very generally very good price, and the quality is still outstanding for the price as well from this manufacturer. Uh, this is a re-release, Steins Gate Kurosu Makima, 1 8th by Kodibukiya for 9,240 yen. Um, I, does, I think it's slightly more expensive than her original release a few years ago. I think the original release was about 8,000 yen-ish. But uh, they've been able to stick quite close to this one. And a lot of people have been waiting for this as well. I think this is one of the, of the more favourites uh, ones of Kurosu as well. Um, it's sort of in the top. 100 if I remember on my figure collection so a, a lot of people have really been wanting to this one so I'm glad that they've done a re-release uh, for all those people who have been waiting or you know have been you know stuck with the the uh, aftermarket prices being so high so this is really good uh, Artifacts J Pokemon series Florian and Fuoco 1 8th by Kodabikia 12,980 yen um, unfortunately this has obviously got the Pokemon tax so it's a bit of a, uh, it depends on if how much into Pokemon you are. Uh, I'm uh, not into Pokemon hugely, so I really only prefer the original uh, lineup and that's it really of Pokemon. So I don't like normal Ash and whatnot, but I don't, uh, this like trainer, uh, I have no idea. So, uh, but it looks pretty good overall, And uh, but I think you're all, you're always generally paying a bit more for the uh, Pokemon ones that have been previously released, but then they've always gone up and in, uh, increased in value on the aftermarket, so I'd nab this if you can. Then we've got a freeing bigger, Orimo 2, uh, Kuren Kureneko, uh, by, for court scale, for 34,840 yen. Um, this one's a bit on the cheaper side for compared to the not other freeing figures. Um, but this one is obviously not as much plastic. It seems like with her not having a large chest, but that makes sense with I think this character she does she's not well endowed anyways, so um, that's perfectly fine. So it's a good actually quite a good price I think for um, what you're getting overall. Uh, this one's being released in November 2024. Then we've got uh, Jami Fortunate to meet Chinese dress. Uh, Jean Mo version one seventh by for nineteen thousand two hundred yen. Um, it seems like all these figures that come out in Chinese dress is always really well sculpted and really well painted. So this is uh, really good. Um, I do like this one a lot. Uh, it looks like you get the base with her. Uh, you could take this sort of ornament shelving but that's behind her away if you don't want to use it. There is also it looks like she comes with a mask or without a mask as well. Um, then there's a black dress version of her. It seems like. Uh, or this, well, this is named as a different character, Tao Zhu, but it's the exact same sculpt, it uh, seems like to me. Uh, yep, exact same sculpt, it's just black compared to uh, like a dark blue, uh, or compared to the white version. Again, 19,200 yen. Or you can get both of them for 37,300 yen for a slight discount. You can have both. Um, I don't know really if you should get both, I probably wouldn't. Just whatever one seems to be your favourite colour. Um, apart from that, they're identical. So you just get the single ones. Then we've got uh, Bunny Elf Princess illustration by Taiji Mayushi, 1 6th. Uh, being manufactured by Gentleman for 28,200 yen. Uh, so this one, I think, is a cast upable figure. Yes, she is. So it's a bunny girl, much more unique bunny uh, outfit as well compared to you know freeing bunnies or whatnot. This one's definitely a lot more, a lot more cartoonish, more playful. You know, like a magic girl, magic girl esque version, I guess you could say, of a bunny suit. So this one's actually quite more fun to play with um, in terms of what emotion she's giving. Uh, so definitely very good. I like the coloring on this one as well, and the price looks uh, pretty good as well with it being a cast off. Um, so yeah, no good looking figure for this one. And with her being an elf as well in the bunny suit. Uh, Azure Lane for middle uh, by Mythos for 26,400 yen. So this one, Azure Lane again, all, all the Azure Lane figures are really well done. Uh, the sculpting on this one looks impeccable. Uh, the hair sculpt looks really good as well, obviously with it draping over the, the chair. So uh, yeah, no, very good. The chair looks freaking ornate as hell. So really well done, I think definitely worth it i think maybe the sculpting around the tights might be a, like this embroidering is not as well defined but apart from that um very good looking figure 26,400 yen so very good then we've got azure lane uh ditto anxious uh, biscuit doll version by uh, for one sentence by neon max uh, i think neon max have done a couple of these before for 24,980 yen coming out in october 2024 
very nice looking figure. I think, again, as another Azure Lane one, they've pretty much never failed any Azure Lane figures. Uh, none of the manufacturers have. They've always st stuck very close to the artwork. Um, all the skins, I guess you could say, from the game. So very good. Uh, Love Live Superstar, Canon Shibuya, uh, by Solarium for 24,200 yen. Uh, December 2024. Uh, looks fine overall, not too bad. Um, and then we've also got, again, from the same lineup, we've got Tang, uh, Keke Tang, by Solarium for 24,200 yen. Uh, just, yeah, there's a pop, there's a pop idol figure. And then there's a collection, looks like, where you can get all five stars, first generation set, uh, for 121,000 yen for a slight discount. Rather than getting them all five separately, they're doing a bundle of it. So uh, that's probably would be the best if you want all five characters and you just want the entire lineup. And um, that's it for the 8th of Feb. This is the 9th of Feb. There has not been, there's no figure releases in terms of pre orders, but there are two that are coming to stock. We've got the B Style Toradora Ami Kawashima by Fring for 38,500 yen. It's now in stock and available. And we also have the uh, Majors of Darling Marin Kitagawa for 39,600 yen uh, available for order as well from Ami Ami. Uh, so good if you missed out on the uh, Marin Kitagawa and you want the core scale, then she is available 39,600 yen. Um, I think it's one that I'm very tempted to get hold of. Uh, just March was quite a busy uh, month for me. To, uh, sorry, February was quite a busy month for me, unfortunately. So I wasn't able to uh, order her, although I might yet be tempted to later on in the month. Uh, still the 9th of February. This one uh, I skipped. Sometimes I do is where they have two listings for the Friday for the uh, Friday part of the week. Uh, there's quite a few figures on that, actually. The 9th that was released, so we'll get straight into it. Uh, needy Streamer, Overload on OMG Kawaii Angel by Fu for 16,830 yen. Uh, surprising Bendy Ol Chan, who doesn't want to go to work, white version. There's also a pink version, and then there's deluxe versions of both of those, which come with the Shikishi for that's 19,000 yen. Uh, so this is January 2024, uh, 2025. Uh, so Again, it's one of those sort of ones where you have a raised leg, very, you know, seductive, quite a sexy pose on this one. Um, yeah, not a bad looking office worker girl. And uh, then we've got Bunny Girl Rena, 17th by Enso Toys for 17,420 yen, coming out in September 2024. She's always sat in sort of this apparatus. Very good looking uh, Bunny Girl figure, actually. I quite like this one a lot. Very good design, uh, very good sculpting on this one as well. And the price is actually pretty good. This one, so I think it's this one would be down to lighting now. Uh, SSR figure, House of Unhumans, uh, by SSR figure, uh, for 11,040 yen. So this one's a sort of cheaper uh, uh, body suit figure that you can get. Um, she comes with this couch, and uh, there's also another character which you can pair up with her, of uh, Yuli, uh, of Yuli uh, for 11,040 yen again. And you can... Uh, should be able to combine them. I th don't know if you require to get like a combination set. It doesn't seem like it seems like they're sold separately. So I guess the armrest just comes apart and you can put them together. But they are using stockings, so they're very similar to Baikus, uh, Baikus bunnies. Um, but these ones seem to be a bit better qu quality than the Baikus bunnies. So we might be seeing uh, this as a potential uh, new lineup of figures from this uh, manufacturer of bunny girls. If you're really into your bunny girls, Blue Archive Hasumi. Uh, for 24,200 yen, one seventh uh, by Furu. Um, yeah, not a bad looking one. Very well endowed character, obviously, from Blue Archive. So, uh, with angel wings. So, yeah, not. Uh, or succubus wings, I guess, or dark wings at least. Um, then we've got, talking of succubus, Overlord Albedo, uh, ne Negligee version by Good Spell Arch Shanghai, 22,770 yen, uh, coming out in January 2025. A very good look looking one. The wing sculpts on this is really good. Uh, probably a lot better than a lot of the other Albedo figures. And the shading on this is really good as well. Um, and there is also a uh, lingerie version by uh, or lingerie figure of Albedo by Claynell. Clay Although I'm pretty sure I've covered this one before um, in a previous video a while ago. Uh, so again, looking very good. Sculpture on the wings is really well done. 
Pain work, so you've got two sort of, you know, a negligee or a lingerie version of Albedo if you want to get a hold of it or get both of them. And then we've got To Love Rue Darkness, uh, Run LC, uh, one sixth uh, by Union Crave, 19,200 yen. Uh, looks fine for a To Love Rue figure. Uh, then we've got Lyricus Recoil, Takina Inoue, Hawaii version, or by Claynell Clay as well, 16,940 yen. Like, not too bad, pretty good looking figure. And then we've got Chisato as well, uh, for 16,940 yen. Uh, very floral in this one, very good looking uh, figure from Lyric of Lyricus Recoil figures. Arknights, Dusk Everything in the Miracle version, 1 seventh by Fury for 25,240 yen. Very expensive looking one, but it is a dragon girl. Seems like she's obviously uh, got dragon aspects going on with the tail and the uh, arms and the scales going on. Very good looking uh, figure. I'm glad we're seeing some more of these dragon figures. Uh, there's always a, a unique thing. I think a lot of people do like sort of dr dragon um, uh yeah, like dragons being represented in their figures. I think it's just something that people, a lot of people like dragons. Uh, and then we've got Azulane Honolulu, uh, 1 6 by Ribos, or 26,380 yen. Again, I think I've covered this one before in a video a long time ago. Um, but this one's Honolulu, obviously, with she's just caught up in the wrapping, so she's uh, not, very, do, not doing very well without her Christmas wrapping in this one. Uh, Azulane Implacable, uh, 1 6. Hot damn, this is a very nice looking figure. Uh, by Annie Game for 23,400 yen. Um, I think loads of people will be scrambling to get this one, um, especially if you've not been able to get any of the resin statues that I've seen of her. Uh, the, the resin figures are, uh, statues are really good. And this is obviously amazing as well. It's, with it being a PVC figure, at least this one all uh, is a lot more affordable compared to an actual statue. Uh, March 2025, this one might be one I would potentially pre order. Um, it's a very good looking one. Implacable's got just one of those drop dead gorgeous skins to get a whole, uh, to have in your collection. Um, it's just she's just a very one of those you know favorites that a lot of people like. Then we've got um, Arms Note Powered Bunny Light Armored Version by Katakawa for 24,200 yen. So there's a bunny suit girl sort of in combat gear. A uh, very uh, another bunny suits you know unique design of this one. This one's again very good sculpting. I like this one a lot. And just having these sort of combat girls. Uh, uh, it was very. Uh, it's just something about them. I like them a lot. So uh, yeah, and then they also do a heavy arms or complete ver version where you get to have her with some more of the, her weaponry that she's supposed to have. Uh, so again, very good. I probably will pay it. This one is twenty seven thousand one hundred yen. So there is a three thousand yen difference. I, I probably would pay the three thousand yen um, to get this one. This is a very good looking one. December twenty twenty four. Uh, December is a bit tight for me, so I won't be pre ordering this one. But this one I will be keeping an eye out for. Then we've got uh, ReZero, we've got Rem in the Grace of Beauty 2024 New Year version for 21,560 yen, coming out in July 2024. Um, I'm pretty sure I covered this before as well. Um, or uh, I think there was a white version of her, if I remember correctly. Um, this is obviously the red, a red version to do with the Chinese New Year. Um, so pretty good, July 2024. At least I think it's to do with the Chinese New Year. Um, or Grace of Beautiful New Year version. I'm not too sure. And then we've got Elizabeth, uh, so Amelia as well, uh, for 23,760 yen. Again, same sculpt. I think we've seen this but same sculpt before, just different colours. It's just a new year version, so there's a recolouring of one I've covered before. July 2024. Um, Death Ball Nadeksky, uh, for one sixth by Daiki Kogio. Um, this one is not too bad looking actually. Uh, this one is a cast off figure. It's an elf girl in sort of, you know, uh, a musical band outfit uh, or cheerleader role outfit, it seems like. And then she's got her sword. Uh, I think this potentially might be worth getting. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it depends if you like. I like your elf girls a lot. Um, it depends if you uh, like this artist. Then we've got another uh, dragon girl. I think this one's actually better than the other one. Uh, DZ12 SX uh, Tatsuyuki Ryo, one sixth by Test for 39,600 yen. Um, I like this one a lot. This uh, China dress with the uh, dragon uh, tail is really well sculpted. I like the uh, yeah the scales that they've got going on here and the colors just are really good with the white and the reds and silver um, or gray scales. 
looks really good. Um, she's definitely one to keep an eye out for. Very expensive though, October 2024. So uh, depending on how you are, you might want to hold off and just see uh, how she is like actually on release. Um, and then she might actually you know get a bit cheaper after release. She might get a bit more of a discount. Uh, Tai 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 original character Genyu one sixth by, by Slime for twenty two thousand yen. Uh, again, this is sort of one of one of those bunny figures. Uh, very unique design though in the China dress uh, with the tights going on, um, and she's obviously got brushes and what going on. So this is actually very good. I like sculpting in this one a lot. So another very good looking figure. And then we've got uh, Avenger Jean de Arc Alter. By Ulta for 37,180 yen. Uh, this one is again another bonus good looking figure. I think a lot of people will like this one. Uh, a lot of people like buying the Fight Fate series figures. They just always seem to sell really well. I think um, Jean the the Arc uh, Avengers. A lot of people like uh, her as well. Uh, so, but she's very expensive. January 2025. And finally, for the 10th of Feb, we've only got two figures that have been uh, released, uh, really, for the this the Saturday. We've got Hatsune Miku uh, Expo 2023 VR Costume Contest Grand Prize by Den Denza Design Coco, 18,920 yen, coming at March 2025. Uh, another one of the unique uh, ones. This one's very sort of, you know, circus-esque in terms of the actual design, I think. This, well, that's what vibes it's giving me. Um, and then we've got um, Unamusume, uh, was it uh, Kit Kisana uh, Black New Racing outfit uh, by Sai Games for twenty five thousand eight hundred fifty yen. Uh, very expensive, I think, for Unu, uh, Unamusume. But I think a lot of them have been quite expensive as well. Uh, this one's coming out in January twenty twenty five. This one's not a bad looking one, but it's not a series that I'm particularly uh, a fan of. Um, but I think uh, there are a lot of people that do like the Umin uh, Pretty Derby season, uh, series. Um, and that does it for the 5th to the 10th of Feb of Amiami pre-orders that we've looked at today. Uh, again, please comment, like and subscribe for any uh, and look in the description below. Now, with the amount of figures we looked at today, there will probably be a, a link to doc, a Google Doc uh, to sh get access to the links, uh, to the hyperlinks uh, that of the figures we looked at today. Um, and uh, that will be it. If you prefer this sort of format, then please, um, again, let me know if this is something you prefer, um, and I will catch you in next week's video. Um, also, there'll be one Harbury coverage I'll be doing over the course of the week, uh, coming up a short, uh, you know, a, f a few days after this video is uh, air published. Uh, there'll be, should be, we should, st I should be doing some one hobby, uh, which is currently run or running today as of filming this on the 11th of Feb. So thank you very much, and I shall catch you in another video. Bye.